The reason why I started the channel is because I have just recently discovered that I have memory dissociation disorder. And one of the main things that is just currently blowing my mind is I have amnesia from my childhood. I did have a really dr traumatic childhood with constant abuse on a regular basis. And she liked to keep uh, my sister and I and my father in f fight or flight mode. Just constantly. And so because of that, my brain just decided that I didn't need those memories. That it wasn't helpful. So not just bad memories. It didn't cut out just bad memories. Which it did that too. But I can remember a bit more of those. It cut out mundane memories of childhood like I have no idea like what I did I don't know my favorite tv show or I don't know what my favorite food ever was I can't picture what my room looked like I can picture a little bit my room I can get like little flashes and I, sometimes I just get these slivers of memory just, I can almost remember it, but not quite. Like, the memory can't be put into words or a visual in my brain. And, and then it's just kind of gone. So I've discovered that the memories that I do have feel like just facts. For instance, if you're reading a book, you feel like you almost experiencing what the character experiences but not really because you're not in the book so my memories are a little bit like that so there are things that I know and I know that it happened or I learned that it happened but it, it doesn't feel real so much of my life does not feel real I've just started saying if I watched a movie of my life I don't think I would recognize it maybe now that I've been exploring a lot more but even still I wouldn't have recognized it and there are certain things that really surprised me that I did and I didn't know sometimes I put pieces together and then figured it out and sometimes a, a friend or my sister would tell me and that's how I knew. But there is so much that I don't know. Like really simple things. Just regular things. Like I don't remember what I ate for breakfast before school in the morning. I don't know if I rode the bus or not um, for the early years. I did go to Christian school until the fourth grade. And then I switched to public school. But I can't picture first grade or second grade. I don't know what we did, especially for holidays. I can't remember a birthday. And just everything. I I really don't know my life. And part of the channel is, is I'd like to tell people so to make it more real. Because right now I, I'm still in this limbo kind of a thing where so mu much of my memories feel fake. There's even times when a friend is telling me something that happened and I know they wouldn't lie to me, but it feels fake. So my abuser um, is my mom. <sighs> She's quite a horrible monster. So I discover a several years ago that she had the power to control our reality. Our being mine, my sister, and my dad. I knew she could kind of control what we believed and what we saw, but I never imagined the long con she had. So, get this. Alright, for example. Pretend like she ate a chocolate bar that she wasn't supposed to, or made her look bad in some way. Any, any kind of even mild uh, negative consequence. She had the power 
and the ability to make me believe I ate it. Not just to say that I ate it or to take the fall for it. She had the power to make it true to me where I thought that I ate it. I would believe every single word of it because to question her always came with great pain. So I learned not to question her very much until my teenage years. So this new moment of clarity I've had is I believed my whole life until maybe six months ago. I believed that it was factually true that I had never had a friend until eighth grade. And I've been able to access memories that I've never been able to access before, which is just fascinating and terrifying and I guess not terrifying, but it is world shattering to realize that uh, so much of what you think your life is, is a complete lie. I believed I had no friends ever, but then recently I've discovered that I had friends the whole time. They just never counted. No, I don't understand how I didn't see reality instead of what she told me. I know it wasn't safe to acknowledge she was lying, but it still baffles me. The power she had to make me deny what is happening, it's not like I would tell her what she wanted to hear. I believed what she told me. I believed it. I'm going to end the video here. I hope it is a good length. I hope it wasn't too long. Thank you.